Have you ever wondered if traditional banks are being disrupted by the rise of fintech? Today, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about fintech companies, Vero Bank. Is it a true fintech disruptor or just another bank in disguise? Let's find out. Before we get into Vero, let's quickly understand what fintech is. In essence, fintech is the use of technology to improve financial services. Think about how you use to pay bills at the bank or use ATMs. Now, we have mobile apps that do it all. Fintech has revolutionized the way we manage our money. But is Vero part of this revolution? To answer that, we need to look at a few key aspects of its operations. Vero's business model is a bit unique. Unlike traditional banks that rely on physical branches, Vero is entirely digital. This means you can open an account, deposit money, and transfer funds all from your smartphone. But is this enough to qualify as a fintech? Let's take a closer look at what Vero offers. They provide a range of financial products, including checking and savings accounts, debit cards, and overdraft protection. While these might seem like standard bank offerings, Vero's approach is different. For instance, they offer fee-free checking accounts and early access to direct deposit funds. One of the key factors that sets fintech companies apart is their focus on technology. Vero has invested heavily in technology to provide a seamless and user-friendly experience. They've developed their own banking platform, which allows them to offer innovative features like real-time transaction updates and budgeting tools. While Vero operates digitally, it's still subject to the same regulations as traditional banks. This means they need to comply with federal and state banking laws. This can sometimes limit their ability to innovate as quickly as other fintech companies. Ultimately, the success of any bank, whether fintech or traditional, depends on customer satisfaction. Vero has received positive reviews for its customer service and user-friendly app. However, there have also been complaints about technical issues and limited branch access. To get a better understanding of Vero's place in the fintech landscape, let's compare it to traditional banks. While traditional banks have the advantage of a physical presence, Vero offers greater convenience and flexibility. However, traditional banks often have more extensive networks and may offer better interest rates on savings accounts. As the fintech industry continues to evolve, it's difficult to predict what the future holds for Vero. However, the company's focus on technology and customer-centric approach suggests that it has the potential to remain a major player in the market. So, is Vero Bank Fintech? While it certainly incorporates elements of fintech, such as its digital-only platform and focus on technology, it also shares many characteristics with traditional banks. Vero's success will ultimately depend on its ability to balance innovation with regulation and provide a superior customer experience. With that said, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or thoughts about Vero or the fintech industry in general, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more financial content. Until next time.